Welcome back everyone. Hope your Saturday is going good. Uh, later on today we'll have some videos from the Indianapolis Speedrome from all the different uh, series that are running down there. I know my wife will be running the factory front wheel drive. I think the Ford Oval and Ford Figure 8s will be running as well as the late model Figure 8s. Uh, some of the other ones got canceled. I think the adult fast carts got moved to a different day or something. And one of the other, the Legends cars as well. So they had to jumble the schedule and get everything uh, moved into place for today. But anyway, today's going to be a Hot Wheels video. But first, I have a Target pickup I wanted to show you guys. It's an, from the WWE Series 7 Elite Collection. This is Bobby the Brain Heenan in his weasel suit. I'm going to pan this camera out a little bit so I can uh, get it all in the screen there. But there you see it, Bobby the Brain Heenan in his weasel costume. So very cool, had to pick that up. Can't remember what the cost was. I've seen it before. I wanted to pick it up before, and I was like, my wife and I were walking through it. I said, oh, I'll think about it. And she goes, you, you, you never get these things. You always say you'll get it, and you don't get it. So, I, okay, I took it off the hook and uh, went ahead and grabbed it. But anyway, this uh, today we're going to do like the Hot Wheels slash Matchbox so I got several different bags down here. We're just going to pull from them. And it's going to be all sorts of different cars. First one we're going to start off with from the Hot Wheels Flame Series is a 65 Ford Galaxy. I've probably had this one in the videos before. But uh, really like those green rims on there. It looks really nice. Pops really well. And again, I'm going to apologize in advance for the glare. Still have not had an opportunity to move the tables over. So that, that way I can get out of the direct light. Uh, next up from Baja Blazers is Land Rover Series 3 pickup. Kind of an interesting looking vehicle. Kind of looks like a Jeep. Kind of doesn't look like a Jeep. But definitely an off-road vehicle or an SUV type of a vehicle. Up next from HW or Hot Wheel Speed Graphics is Datsun Fair Lady 2000. This one's pretty cool. I'm trying to get you the cardboard so you all can see it. And there you see it says 15 on the side. Get a little overhead view. 52 on the hood. Very cool looking piece. Again, I don't know what I'm going to do with a lot of these. A lot of these just look cool, so I pick them up. Don't know if they have any value. Not really worried about that. Next up from Rod Squad is a 57 Chevy. Kind of pink in color. Kind of reminds me of the uh, K2 car. If you guys know the store behind K2, that was Dale Earnhardt Sr.'s first race car. Up next from is Honda, a 90 Honda Prelude. So again, I just like these uh, regular passenger cars from uh, different eras. They're just really cool. It's better than when you was growing up and you just had generic little Hot Wheels or generic Matchbox cars that you get at the grocery store or wherever. Up next from Hot Wheels Exotics is Porsche 911 GT3 RS. I thought this one had a pretty nice looking paint job. There's the uh, cardboard and not sure what all's going on there, but I really like that uh, black and I don't want to call it gold. It's not really a gold, but it's a nice looking color and it goes well with that. I think we've had this one on the show before from Hot Wheels Exotics, a 90 Acura NSX. Looks like a pace car of some time or some type, but or it wants to be. And there you see it just says Ryula Circuit. Not sure if that's a real circuit or not. But nonetheless, we have another Rod Squad, a 49 Ford F1. So there's the uh, cardboard. Really like the contour on this one. Really like these old style pickup trucks. They really had some character. Lots of body lines. Lots of uh, color. Lots of style. I still have a bunch in these bags down here. May have two videos out of this, depending on how long this goes. Uh, got one out of the Batman series here. Actually got a couple and it's the same car, so I'm going to just do one of them. But it's number four or five TV series Batmobile. So there's the picture on the cardboard and there's the actual car. Now I'm not really a Batman fan, but anytime I see something like this, and as you see, I did pick up two of them. So I'm just going to put those off to the side. Just think it's pretty cool. And there's another one of these pickup trucks, so I must have picked up two of those obviously. Not sure what I'm going to do with all these, but I may end up doing little dioramas or who knows what I'm going to do with them. I just keep picking them up, keep buying them. I think they're just a lot of fun. 
Maybe I just put them in display cases and, and appreciate them for what they are and their representation of, of the automotive world. Next, for Muscle Mania, is an 86 Monte Carlo SS. There's the uh, cardboard. There you see it. it is the notchback and not the fastback SS that was raced in NASCAR. Of course, the notchback did race in NASCAR. Then we have a Hot Wheels Flame Series, 57 Plymouth Fury. Again, these older cars with them big tail fins. A lot of character. And I actually got two of those, so I'll put that one out of the way. Then we have Muscle Mania, an 84 Pontiac Firebird. Now, this car brings back a lot of memories for me because that was the uh, pace car at a lot of the NASCAR races back in the day. You'd have that light bar across the top. Of course, it wouldn't have the T-tops, but it would uh, had that light bar across the top, and it was just a sleek-looking car. Always like that design. I guess I don't have as many down here as I thought. Still have a few more to go through, so apologize for the sound of rustling through the bag. Just trying to... Get them up here for you guys. And then after the video is over, I'll put them back in these bags. So up next we have from Hot Wheels Trucks, Hot Wheels Hot Trucks, a 99 Ford F-150 SVT Lightning. So there's the cardboard, and there you see the gold truck. I've seen a few of these out on the roads before. Kind of nice looking pickup. Don't know how well they were rated and stuff. Then up next, I apparently got this one at a flea market because it's got a string on it from Hot Wheels Race Day Porsche 917 LH. So this would have been stuff that would have ran in the IMSA series back in the 80s and 90s. The prototype series. Then we have a Hot Wheels Turbo series, an 89 Porsche 944 Turbo. Nice looking car. Kind of have that uh, big hatchback on the back there. Always had some interesting designs in that uh, company. Hot Wheels Roadster Series next with a 69 Camaro convertible. Of course, you see a lot of cars down like this. I like the Goodyear logo there on the bottom of it. Just trying to see if that thing was focusing again. Show you the front, the back, and the top without a little bit of glare. See a lot of cars like that at World of Wheels, that uh, muscle car era. We have an Olympic car here, number 8 of 10, the Toyota GT, Toyota 2000 GT, representing a karate. So I think we've, there's the karate logo there at the top. There's the uh, rendering of it and the car itself. Kind of resembles a Corvette a little bit with that long nose and that short back end just my observation and it looks like the rest of these I got one more Hot Wheels and then the rest will be Matchbox to get the Flint Flintstones Flintmobile seen that one grew up of course with this uh, uh, Flintstones as a kid so got to pick it up when you can now the rest of these are going to be uh, Matchbox got a 2015 Corvette Stingray State Trooper you see the little light bar on the top of it Pretty sleek looking car there. It has a string on top, so I must have picked that up. up in the, picked that one up at a flea market or an antique store. Then we have a 32 Plymouth PC sedan. Really like these cars, these old bodied old style cars. Then we have a 2016 Ford Interceptor Utility. So again, it's got that big uh don't know what they call that bar on the front. I'm crash bar or whatever it is i can't remember what it is that they call it and then the rest of these i guess i did have another hot wheel i did guess i've picked up two of those at some time but the rest of these that i'm getting ready to show you right now were picked up from five below today or yesterday i'm sorry my wife and i did some running went to five below of course they have hot wheels there this next one is a 57 Dodge Swept Side Pickup. So, really like the detail in that one. Really nice looking truck. I don't like the way that, that the bumper looks plastic instead of chrome. And I wish they would have painted the lights a little bit. 
made a little bit more realistic, but still kind of cool. Up next, we have an MBX trailer trawler. So I thought this was pretty nifty looking. Just a little uh, pull behind, little sport utility. Put your boat and your got your uh, propane tank, etc., etc. Up next is a '79 Chevy Nova, and I actually got two of these because these were the cars that, uh, if you're familiar with the the Xfinity series back in the early '80s, mid '80s, this was one of the cars that they actually raced. Was that Nova? And uh, Dale Jr., of course, took his dad's Nova out on the track at Darlington a few weeks ago. We do have another Hot Wheels and Olympic Games Tokyo 2020 swimming. I don't think I've got this one yet. It didn't look familiar to me. Velocit Velocita. Maybe I do have it, because that name sounds familiar, but nonetheless. Then up next, we have a Nissan NV van. So it looks like a hotel shuttle courtesy vehicle that says there on the side. Or maybe it's from a Nissan dealership that they use to pick up their clients or what have you. Up next is this one's just called Speed Trapper. And I thought this one was really fun. Construction Zone Speed Limit. Just the little trailers that you see that have the your speed type thing. And I kind of thought that was really neat. Looks like you have a, a little, uh, I don't know if that thing turns or not. But I just thought that was really, really interesting. They had a couple more of those. Maybe I should have got a couple more. Up next, Road Stripe King. So part of the construction series, I guess. Just looked kind of nifty. Had all the little tools there in the back. Just different looking vehicle. Two more, and then we're going to call it a day. Uh, we have a 2016 Ram flatbed. So this kind of just looks like a random construction truck or utility truck thought that was kind of fun and our final one is a 1976 honda cvcc kind of looks like a chevette but uh back in the mid and late 70s you had vehicles like this the ford pinto the gremlin uh, the aforementioned chevette just these uh compact and subcompact cars that were uh kind of trendy they, they they're popular for a few years and they just kind of went away but that is now we're all caught up on hot wheels guys so won't be any hot wheels videos for a while unless i get out the old stuff that i haven't put on the channel that's boxed up and i really don't want to unbox it right now but at some day i might but anyway hope you guys enjoyed this that was a lot to digest in 15 well not even 15 minutes or 13 minutes uh tomorrow I'm going to have to go through some cards because since it's uh, Indy 500 day, I'd like to go through some IndyCar cards. I think that'd be a fun little change of pace. So i got to go through a couple boxes here, pull some of those out, and we'll go over those. So tomorrow we'll look forward to having some uh, fun with some Indy cards, some old, uh, older IndyCar cards. So they're going to be from the late 80s, early 90s, that era, because there's really not much room there. But anyway, uh, thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed the Hot Wheels video. We'll be back to opening some packs here in the next few days. Maybe Monday we'll do that torque box. Not real sure yet. I got some stuff coming in, like I said, from Steel City and some other places. Facebook Marketplace, other online purchases. So I'm looking forward to everything coming in and showing you guys what we picked up. So thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday, and we will see you again tomorrow.